Joining me now from Washington is Andrea Dunsosa. She is the America's Regional Director for the humanitarian aid organization Project HOPE. Uh, certainly the situation in Haiti seems to be getting worse and worse by the day as we figure out exactly what happened and the impact on the ground. That's absolutely true. It's a very critical situation right now, and the needs are extremely urgent. Uh, we have the combined situation of the impacts of the recent earthquake, as well as uh, Tropical Storm Grace that is currently bearing down on the island of Hispaniola and is going to be impacting some of the same populations. So the needs on the ground are extremely urgent uh, in order to get aid to the hospitals and health facilities um, that are providing care to those that have been affected by this event. I mean, coordination is always the key in these sorts of situations. How, how is that on the ground, particularly because, uh, you know, the, the infrastructure, as we can see from these images, is, is devastated and, and many of these areas already are also dealing with a criminality issue, which impacts how mm -hmm. you get help to people. Yes, absolutely. Coordination is, is essential. Um, Project Hope is currently working directly with, for example, uh, hospitals in the heavily affected uh, areas, such as Lakai, to understand what their needs are. Um, fortunately, communications are still fairly good in the majority of the country, so we can get information back and forth and start to understand what those current needs are. What, what are those needs? Uh, those I mean, what, what's the sense, sorry, just interrupt, but what, what sure. is the sense from the hospitals that you're getting that they, that they urgently need and what they're dealing with there on the ground right now? Yeah, absolutely. Hospitals in the affected areas are completely overwhelmed. They have an influx of patients. There's a lot of traumatic injuries resulting from the initial earthquake um, that are flooding in. And we're seeing a critical shortage of medical supplies, medications, um, all of those things that are critically needed to be able to provide immediate medical support. So that's where Project Hope is really focusing our efforts, understanding what those needs are and helping to get those supplies uh, to those hospitals on the ground. And of course, uh, these hospital workers, doctors, nurses, uh, medics also having to deal with this in the middle of a, of a pandemic. How's that complicated yes. things? Yes, absolutely. And it's important to recognize that local healthcare workers are also part of the affected population. Um, Project Hope has provided a lot of support throughout the course of the pandemic um, in focusing on uh, mental health and resiliency for healthcare workers because of the severity of that impact is an absolutely critical topic. And that's part of the reason why we're focusing on medical surge support and getting um, additional resources to these hospitals to help support that local population. Do, do you expect the, the death rate to rise significantly or do you feel like the numbers that we're getting now are, are, are pretty much the reality on the ground? How, how much do we know about the impact and the losses to human life? Yes, the, the uh, death tolls are already running in the hundreds and we expect that to unfortunately increase dramatically. Um, we have many populations that have not been accessed yet. For example, the main road going from Lakai to Jeremy to the most um, heavily impacted communities is completely cut off with four different landslides at different point. It's going to take several days. So the search and rescue efforts are actually just now getting underway in the next couple of days. And unfortunately, we expect those numbers uh, to increase dramatically. Um, cannot emphasize enough the severity and urgency um, of this situation currently in Haiti and the level of need. So, so what you're saying is that the whole communities who we know have been hit by this earthquake, they're dealing with either death or severe injury, buildings down, uh, unable to get access to them, and then even if you can get access in the next few days and help, mm -hmm. there is a tropical storm, potentially hurricane about to hit them. This is, this is just a cocktail of even more devastation. Absolutely. It's an absolutely tragic situation. And again, I cannot emphasize enough just how severe and important the needs are on the ground in Haiti right now. Mm -hmm. um, compiling all of these issues and just recognizing too some of the trauma um, that a lot of these populations are reliving based on you know past events, including the 2010 earthquake. Um, so bringing all of that together, this is a, an extremely tragic situation and we need as much support uh, available to be able to help support the local populations and the local health system as much as possible. Well, thank you for all the work you're already doing. I know that uh, certainly, uh, as you say, um, every bit counts. Uh, I'm going to leave you to, to do what you need to do, and uh, hopefully uh, you can help as many people as possible. Andrea Dunn-Sosa, thank you very much for joining us here on CNN. Thank you. Thank you.